I can't believe it is 2024. We're gonna have an amazing year. Let's have, let's have a great year. Water first. This video is sponsored by LifeSum, but we'll get into that in a bit. And supplements. Welcome to a what I eat in a day for my 2024 goals. Ritual multivitamin. And a whole glass of water down right away in the morning. So important, so good for you. Your body gets so dehydrated when you sleep. Hydrate, you need it. And it starts your energy flow, you know? Next, we're doing greens. You know I'm a greens girl. Start the day feeling good, do good for your tummy and the rest of your body. And honestly, having a solid morning lineup just helps keep me on track, honestly. Like it's a mental thing and obviously a physical thing. And it's literally in my name. Morgan Green, <laughs> come on, come on. And I also just love having a cute little drink lineup. Like I wake up and I get through it and I feel on track, I feel on routine. I just feel like I am on my A game and like I can take this day wherever I want it. My favorite part of the drink lineup, of course, is protein coffee. I've been playing around with my milk preferences lately. I'm trying to figure out what's, you know, my vibe of milk this year. I don't really know. I used to do a lot of homemade oat milk. I'm taking a break from that. I have Fairlife right now and I kind of want the extra protein. So I'm going to go ahead and do this in my coffee this morning. But let me know your favorite milk and why. Maybe it'll help me figure out where to take my milk vibe this year. <laughs> but so we heat it up. Then we'll add a scoop of protein. I'm still in a peppermint bark mood. And we'll also add some collagen, cause why not? And we froth. And we'll brew a double shot of espresso right over this mix. Isn't it so cute how it's pink from the peppermint bark protein? I love it. I'll just give it a bit of an extra mix. Pink coffee, like that's just so satisfying and cute and I love it. Seriously so good. I say it in like every video, but if you've not tried protein coffee, this is your sign. This is your sign. I love to do my little drink lineup and then I can just sit on this, get some substance in my body, not feel guilty that I'm not eating before I'm having coffee, you know, in case that harms your stomach or whatever. And I just feel good, you know? I'm excited to just work on feeling good and pushing myself. I really want to push myself this year. I know I'm capable of a lot of things and I've been working the past few months on trying to build muscle. And soon I wanna start following like an actual guide. And currently I'm trying to clean up my nutrition a bit to aid in that and you know, give me fuel, give me energy to do the physical things I wanna do. And not only to build a better physique, but I've just been really liking trying to create muscle. It's, it's been so cool. But I need to refocus a little bit going into the new year. The last few months I've been a little, you know, kind of all over the place. You know, like I've been doing my workouts, but I've been a lot more lax in the kitchen, which is okay. But I'm kind of ready to just get like on track and have something to work towards and just just push myself, like I said. I just, I don't know, I, I, I wanna push myself because I know I can do hard things and I wanna do harder and more different things that I've done in the past. What I mean by that is like, for example, like I've done the weight loss, right? But now I wanna actually like, I want muscle and a little bit of body recomp. You know, I wanna like decrease my fat percentage. I wanna build, you know, I just, that's what's going on. And I'm excited. I, have, I feel like I have such a good attitude towards it. And I'm not putting too much pressure on myself, but I need things to kind of guide me. And I'm just, I'm just happy. And of course, I'll fill my 40 ounce. Coffee's gone. You already know what we're doing for breakfast. A smoothie bowl. If you're not new here, you know this is my favorite breakfast and I do this all of the time. The best part about it is literally all of this is is strawberries and I happen to have orange juice. So I put a little bit of orange juice in it. You can kind of see it. Normally I'll just do water or maybe a little milk to get it a little creamy, but literally like it's just fruit. It's the best thing. And then I'll put it in here. And into the Ninja Creamy. I love the color of this. It's so bright and cute. It just makes it the perfect 
consistency. Sometimes I'll add a nut butter, but with this mix of strawberries and orange juice, I don't really want to. I'm going to add a little granola, though. This is homemade. It looks so cute. I love this because you're starting your day with good carbs for good energy. And it's so yummy. It's really sweet from the orange juice. I've actually never made this with orange juice before. But I love adding the granola for some texture and crunch, you know? Mm. I love <laughs> this Ninja Creamy. It's like between two and $250. So it's not cheap. But sometimes health is an investment. Honestly, I use it so much that like cost per use, very cheap. <laughs> very cheap. Because I make smoothie bowls almost every single day. I use it for ice cream. Like it's just... It's a very good purchase for me because I actually use it and still use it a few months in. Maybe I'll do like a six month update video. That could be fun. So I don't follow any specific diet or even dietary restrictions. I really eat everything, but I do try to prioritize protein, hydration, and I really want to focus more on whole foods, you know, nutrient dense foods, less processed things. Of course, I'm all for balance, of course, but I do eat at home a lot and cook at home a lot. So just making sure I'm doing more of this stuff shouldn't be too hard. I just have to choose good meals and good foods. And this is the first year in probably seven years that I will be going to a real gym regularly, not just working out at home. And I will have more equipment options. And I want to eat in a way that supports that. You know, I really want to work this year on achieving real goals. I did a really good job the past few months about trying to get comfortable with weights and stuff, but I want to work towards actual real results. So how I briefly mentioned before, I want to buy like a workout plan, stuff like that. Tools like that will really help me get results and avoid me just like walking into the gym and being like, I'm going to do this this day and this this day, you know? So it is lunchtime and I'm super excited. I'm making this Greek salad and I'm going to put shrimp in it. I haven't had shrimp in a while and I'm really, really in the mood for it. I used my veggie chopper as you know, I love my veggie chopper to slice up this onion and then I did cut up the rest of my ingredients. I have big tomato chunks, half a cucumber, some Kalamata olives. I love olives and a ton of feta cheese. Everything smells so good and I haven't even put it together yet. I got this recipe from the app LifeSum, which is the sponsor of today's video. So a big thank you to them for working with me. LifeSum is a nutrition-based app that helps you stay on top of your goals, no matter what they are. Whether you're at the beginning of your journey, in the middle, you're switching focuses. There's a ton of meal inspo and recipes. You can log your water intake so you don't forget how much you're drinking throughout the day, meals, things like that. I don't care too much about calories and you probably know that. However, like I keep saying, I want to push myself more and achieve real goals. And with that, yes, I eat a good amount of protein, but I don't know if I'm actually supporting both my goals and my physical movement with the right macronutrients. So I really like the macronutrient breakdown. The more I learn about it, the more it's just so interesting to me and the more I am inspired and motivated to eat properly, not only because it makes my body feel good, but food is literally fuel, right? So like the right combinations of protein and fats and carbs are gonna support you in your journey. And I can't just guess if I'm eating enough protein. I can do my best with that, but also fats, especially for women, is so important for your hormonal health. And that's huge. It's really such a great tool for education and I am learning so much by using it and it's only gonna help me along the way. There's a barcode scanner where you can check ingredients on things and even a food rating where it gives you like a little smiley faces or frowny faces or whatever based on either meals or certain ingredients. You know, some things might be better or worse than you expect them to be simply because you don't know. So it's just so cool to actually learn about it and then you can take this and apply it every day and down the road. The recipes are carefully put together by nutritionists, chefs, trusted credible people there is a free version there's also a premium version where you can get further access to recipes more information on meal plans if that's something that you do want to follow the micro and macronutrient breakdown more access with the barcode scanner and a life score download the app for free today and you can get 55 percent off of premium with my link that will be in the description box of course it's just fun to be intentional about your food and knowing that you're eating well to support where you want to be and where you want to go and LifeSum is just such a good tool for that. You know, the gym, the kitchen, your sleep, they really all work together so much. And you kind of need all three to get real results. And that is what I'm trying to do. So let's finish making lunch. The dressing for this lunch is olive oil. And then we add in some red wine vinegar, some thyme, salt and pepper, of course. And then some garlic, the perfect combination. This salad makes four servings technically, and I halved it. So this will be two servings, and I'll have half of it today for one serving and the other half for lunch tomorrow. I love olives. 
Give this a good stir. The dressing. I love that this is all super easy ingredients too, where I had a lot of this at home. And then when I was at the grocery store, I just had to pick up literally a cucumber and like more tomatoes. <laughs> So that was so easy. And then this is also two servings of shrimp. So half of it is perfect for today. The recipe actually didn't call for shrimp, but I wanted to add in a protein. There's protein in the cheese, of course, but I just need a little bit more. So I thought shrimp would go perfect in this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I think that looks like half. It's so pretty and colorful. I love that. But you know, the more variety in color, the more variety in nutrients, right? I'm seriously so excited for this. I love this style food. It's so good. It is all the right crunch. You know, you need some sort of crunch with this. And it's the perfect lunch. You know, I wouldn't have this for dinner, but this is the perfect lunch. Mm-hmm. And the shrimp, great touch by me. And I need the protein, so... And I always mention to you how I like to prep salads like this for the week for lunches. Not like traditional salads, but I like to get more creative. Like I do that tuna salad a lot, or this is a really good one. And one batch technically makes four servings, right? Like I did half a batch, so that's four lunches. I just love combinations like this because all you do is cut stuff up, throw stuff together, and it's a good combination, and it's healthy, and well-rounded, and you have lunch for days. So easy. I'm a big like bowl salad-y girl. Even if it's not traditional like lettuce salad, just like a salad with a bunch of stuff together. I want a snack. It's later, but not dinner time. My dad is a really big hunter and when I was home over Christmas, he made venison jerky. <laughs> and venison is really awesome because it's a very lean meat for you. So I'm gonna have some jerky for snack. I have a ton of this, which is so nice. It is coming with me as a road trip snack for the move. It's so good. All he does is put seasoning in it. He has a little tool that puts it into strips and then he dehydrates it. So it's really awesome. There's not a ton of added ingredients and more protein. And soon we're gonna go work out. I'm honestly feeling a really good cardio session today and it's hair wash day, so I can get real sweaty and it won't matter. I started watching Squid Game, how they did the reality version on Netflix, you know? So we'll watch it while we walk. Here for 18, as you nominated yourself, if you will. The prize fund now stands at four million. Especially on cardio day, what I eat matters so much because I can just tell and how tired I get and how fast I get tired, you know? But cardio is crazy because you always feel more tired before your body actually wants to give up, you know? But regardless, I feel so good. And I'm sweaty, so I'm happy it's hair wash day. I have a sweat glow. Fresh out the shower, we must hydrate from all that sweat. I feel good though, and I'm honestly getting really hungry. So I'm very excited for dinner. For dinner, we are making salmon. I'm very excited. We're also gonna do like a sheet pan of veggies and stuff. I'm just going to put a good amount of olive oil on this pan. And here we have chopped up sweet potatoes, red bell pepper, and red onion. Purple onion, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna roast these first for like a half an hour in the oven. A little on top. Set a 30 minute timer. 30 minutes. Starting now. For the salmon, we'll just do it stovetop. I'm gonna throw in some olive oil. And then I'm gonna make both of these pieces. I'm gonna be eating one. They are larger than the recipe calls for, but honestly, I could use it. So I'm gonna heat these up just with some salt and pepper because hopefully with the other stuff combined, it should be good. So these are totally the wrong way. Good thing I just looked that up because I clearly don't know what I'm doing. But you know what? That is the beauty of learning. <laughs> Now I will forever know this is how you make salmon on the stove top. Looks good. Now we're supposed to add some fresh thyme to this mix. I got this from my indoor garden, which is kind of cool. And more feta cheese. Yum. Mix it all together. Oh my God, it's so pretty. This is another life some recipe. And now we just dish up. 
Doing sheet pan roasted veggies and stuff is so easy, and I really never do it enough. And I added the salmon. Look at how beautiful. I feel like such a chef, and this was simply so easy and required no skill. I must refill the water for dinner. I'm honestly a pretty good water drinker. I don't struggle to remember to drink water. It helps when you love your water bottle, of course, but I had over 50 ounces for sure today so far. This is another 40. I don't have a specific water goal, but I can tell when I haven't had enough. <laughs> we are eating good this year, that's for sure. I think the salmon's good, and I like this combination a lot. And I never make salmon at home, so this is something I should do more. It is a little bit pricier, but I'm willing to invest, you know? Investing in me, investing in my health. I am seriously so full after that, and that's the thing. When you actually eat like a good amount of protein in a well-rounded meal, it's so much more satiating. Like the difference is crazy, and I want to keep this up for the year. Like good, well-rounded meals like that. You know me, I am Little Miss Sweet Treat, Sweet Tooth at night, but I'm literally so full from the day that I didn't, I didn't even want to do that tonight. Like normally I'll make like a Ninja Creamy or I do have some chocolate in the pantry. Like I would totally indulge in that, but I am literally so full that I don't have it in me. However, I did great on my protein today. What surprised me was not enough carbs. I feel like I typically do eat more carbs than I did today because I had a lot of fresh foods today, but that's a step in the right direction for the new year, right? I'm not cutting carbs or anything like that. Like I don't have a focus on that. Carbs are good for you. Like they give you energy, right? Like that's great, whatever. But because it was was focusing so much more on having whole nutrient dense foods today I just happen to eat less carbs so my day rating could be better but it's cool because it tells me eat more healthy carbs to boost your day rating so it's like oh maybe you don't have the best day today but like here's how you can fix it so the lifestyle app really is cool I'm feeling really good and I'm excited to have new goals to work towards in 2024 and push Myself. You know, it's exciting because I haven't been setting like the same goals year after year because I've fallen off Like I really feel like this is a new chapter and I'm excited make sure to check out the lifesome app You can download it for absolutely free today and you can get 55% off of premium with my link That will be in the description box This has been a really fun full circle moment because I literally used this app in college And here I am a few years later working with them So a big thank you again to lifesome for sponsoring this video and I hope you got some good meal inspo out of this and you're feeling inspired for the new year. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I am rooting for you. Let's make it a great year. Please subscribe if you've not and I'll see you in my next one.